Hi Laser Team, I'm making this video to show you how to use the Red Stamp application on your iPhone and I'm going to be showing you how to do it on my iPhone and I'm recording with my husband's phone so excuse me if it gets a little shaky at times but hopefully you'll be able to see well enough to understand how to use this app because it's really simple I found it to be very effective for me with my Facebook shows and with just reaching out to my customers it's free so I think it's a good investment for everyone okay so first what you need to do is if you don't have the app you're gonna have to download it so you need to find where your app store is which this is mine here so you're gonna click on app store and in the search bar you're just gonna type in red stamp cards up at the top now I already have red stamp on my phone so this little box here says open but if you don't have it it would say install and so you would just click on it and it would install it on your phone it's free so there's no charge or anything and then once it's downloaded you'll see it on your desktop now since I already have it on my phone it's actually in a folder it's in my photography folder so I'm gonna click there and I have to find the red stamp app so it's this one and what we're going to do is when you get to the red stamp app it's going to show you this home page okay this home page shows you all the different categories for red stamps that you can create and since we're going to create a Thanksgiving themed one I want to pick holidays and then across the top it shows you all the different holidays and it's gonna pull up cards for each holiday so I want to find Thanksgiving so I'm gonna scroll across here with my finger alright here's Thanksgiving so I click Thanksgiving and now the Thanksgiving cards come up so with red stamp you have the option of either doing a card that doesn't have a picture like this one here or you can add your own picture so anyone that has like a picture of a photo or a camera you can put a photo in there so we're going to actually choose this one that says gobble gobble because we can add our own little photo in there once you make the choice for what card you want over on the right hand side there'll be options for different color schemes and I'm gonna go with the original one and then you have to find where your picture is to add it so you click on the picture here and there's a couple different options you can either take a picture right now so sometimes if I make a recipe or I have a product out um, I want to take a, my own picture of it I would just pick that option take the photo right now choose a photo is what I use mostly that means I've already saved the photo in my iPhone and I'm just gonna go to it and add it in from there you can also use Instagram and Facebook which are social media sites and take pictures from there if you'd like as well but I found what's easiest for me is just to click choose photo and then it's going to bring up all the different folders where I keep my pictures as you can see most of my pictures are grouped into categories with Wells and different weeks of his life Wells is my son so but the picture I want is actually in my camera roll and we're gonna scroll up to find it and it's actually this picture here which is a picture that Cindy had posted on her Facebook page about a special deal for November now when I clicked on the picture and put it in here you can see all the information is not available because the picture is a little too large it's really simple to resize it all you do is take your fingers okay and you have to resize the picture so you just kind of go like this okay and you move it over and boom now everything fits in there so you're gonna click done Okay, and now that shows you how you have the information up top here from the picture and then you have this space down here where it says if you can read it's a little blurry your message you click here and this is where you can add in any information you want yourself information about your own business about contacting you maybe you want to clarify what the special is whatever it might be I'm just going to type the word test right now because it's a little hard to type while I'm holding both phones um, and show you so you hit it whenever information you want to put there when you're finished you click done okay and then there is your finished product so then you have this completed you want to click send when you click send there's four options here okay what I always do is click save to photos because then that means this picture that I've created is now saved in my camera roll and I can do anything I want with it I can post it on my own Facebook page I can post it on 
my business page. I can actually post it on a host page or an event, whatever I want. But there are other options also, so I want you to be aware of them. Um, text message means you can take the photo and you can send it out. So if you have your host in your phone book, you can text it to her and then she could text it out to her guests if she wanted to before her party, if it was a special for the party. Email means that you can obviously send it in an email to your host or anyone you want and then mail paper products just means that you can actually have it come up so if you want to print it out onto your own computer you can do that okay but what I use is save photos so that's what I'm going to show you so I've saved it to my photos now and it says okay the card has been successfully saved to your camera roll now what do I do from here well I'm going to probably want to post this on Facebook somewhere. So I'm going to show you right now just how you do that. It's very easy. So I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to my Facebook, which Facebook is under social folder here. Click Facebook. And I'm going to find Cindy because we'll just practice and post it on her page, show you how to. So I'm going to type in Cindy, and here's Cindy here. OK. And I want to post my picture that I just made on her page. So all I do is go to Cindy and write a post. And I'm going to choose from the library. Here is the red stamp I just made. So I've put it now here. You want to click use. Okay. Tap to tag means if anybody, you want to tag somebody, you can. But I'm going to use it. And then I would write something. So I, maybe I would say, um, here you go, Cindy. And then after I'm done writing whatever I want, I hit post and boom, it's on her page. So I think Red Stamp is a great way to create things for your business that make them very personable to you and to what you're trying to promote, but also really catch your customers eyes because I mean these are just so visibly beautiful they're appealing to the eye so if you have any questions or need any more help please feel free to contact me um, I hope this video was informational enough and I hope it wasn't shaky enough but um, I think red stamps really easy to use and can be very beneficial to anyone so please do not hesitate to find me on Facebook my name is Erin Burkett that's my profile picture right there that's my son Wells and you can feel free to message me, friend me, whatever, and I'll help you any way I can. Thank you.